Good morning, everybody. Don't mind me. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> um, my friend Barbara from Barbara's Beauty Bag asked me to do a video um, because we were talking. Sorry. Ugh. So we were talking and I was telling her that I was, um, I had to go because I had to finish, um, making a mask because I'm making a few masks for me and a few masks for my man and whoever. Um, so she asked me to do a video showing how I make my mask. So I figured, all right, I'll do it. So here goes. I'm just going to show you, um, what I've done and what I still need to do and just finish it or at least give you the basic idea if you want to do it yourself. Um, so, just got a regular bandana. I folded it up like an accordion, and then I cut it in half. This one's half done. This one still needs to be done. I've just folded it up like an accordion, and then I pinned it to hold it on both ends. That one you can't barely see, but... And this one... I've already got, I took a hair tie, I cut this part off, I cut it here and I cut it here, and I sewed it on this end and here, and then I sewed it all the way across, and now I am going to do this side. I'm going to put the hair tie, and I just took it and put it like halfway in between so I will do the hair tie part first and then I will make that really secure I've already got my needle and thread ready just make that secure and then once I have that secure I can just finish sewing it across But this is what I'm doing. That way, if I do have to go out, and if my man has to go out, we have these. I have a few um, medical masks that I've been using and some gloves because I've always been in the medical field. I've always worked in the medical field, so I had some anyway from taking care of loved ones during their last days. So I had some extras. And you always should have gloves and whatnot anyway. No matter what's going on, <laughs> you know, you should. Ouch, I poked myself. But yeah, I got that part secure. So now I'm just going to finish sewing it up. All the way across. I love to sew. It's really easy. It's relaxing. Sorry, I just don't want that tangled up in the elastic. That's the biggest thing is to make sure you don't get your elastic caught in the thread. Where it's dangling, it's very easy to do. Like right there, I gotta untangle that. We could do this with um, scarves, um, anything that you have on hand. As long as you got needle and thread and some pins to secure it while you do it. Um, and I did hair ties because I always got hair ties. 
I mean, most of us women do, or even some guys, you know, because a lot of men have their hair long. And they throw their hair up in an elastic. And I thought, what's a better way? What's a better use? Um, I just think it's... I have lots of bandanas. Um, because I collect them anyway. I love them. And the only thing is, is I didn't have any of... Any dark ones, like I got the black and I got a blue one for my man. And I was able to get those right at Family Dollar for a dollar each. So that was no big deal. And you can buy the hair scrunchie ties as well. There are many different kinds. Um, you can get them. A whole bunch of them for a dollar and depending on which ones you get some of them you pay a little more but I'm just tucking that in there so I can do the other end chasing the needle <laughs> and just secure that one push it right through just I just go back and forth through it a few times and around it. Make sure it's nice and secure because you're going to be pulling on that to put it around your ear. So you want to make sure it's really sewed in there good. Okay, I can take my pin out now. So we're almost done. I mean, really easy. It only takes a few minutes to sew it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's not like you're going to use this for anything else except for going out and, you know, if you have to. Yeah, Barbara was like, can you please, please, please? <laughs> She's so sweet. I was like, yes, I will do that just for you. Really cool, cool, cool. Now I'm just going back across. I might as well use up my thread that I have on the needle, there's no sense in wasting it. Make it extra secure. I'm going back over the other elastic. Like I said, you want them to be extra secure anyway. The more secure, the better, um, because you're gonna be pulling and tugging on them. And even if they did come apart, You can easily sew it back together as long as you have needle and thread and I have a big sewing kit so <laughs> I hope everyone is doing good today Staying positive, because we have to stay positive. And ta-da! So now I'm just going to tie this off. I usually just run it through, and then I put my needle through to tie it off a few different times.
from there. And there's my mask. If I can get a hold of it, my fingers don't want to work. And it's plenty wide enough, so you can put it all the way down. Just make sure it's all the way up over your nose, everything. And voila! Done. And you can easily breathe through it. It's not tight or anything. It's awesome. I love it. Perfect. <laughs> I know I look scary. Scary. But yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning, sitting here doing this. Like I said, pretty easy. And you can easily fold it right back up. And all it is is a bandana cut in half, fold it up like an accordion, and then I pinned it in on each end, and then um on each part of the part where I was gonna cut it, and then I cut in between cut through the middle of those two pins and I did that and I still have this one that I will finish sewing up at some point today and that's it very easy and it gives you hope um, Makes you feel a little more secure if you need to go out. Um, yeah. And it gives you something to do. Like I said, I love to sew. I mean, I always have. I've always... Um, I had a sewing machine once upon a time, but I no longer have one. But that's no big deal. I don't mind sewing by hand. Um, I've had... Many people bring me pants, their jeans, their favorite jeans that's had a big blowout in the butt. Or they needed them hemmed a little or whatever. People have brought them to me um, and asked me if I could please fix them because people in my family have said, Oh my gosh, you need if you need that fixed, go see Alice because she's great at it. Like, I've fixed blowouts in your pants and you couldn't even tell that they were fixed. I'm not tooting my own horn it's just how it I guess I'm that good I don't know <laughs> at sewing just one of the things that I've always enjoyed um and who wants to part with their favorite jeans not me <laughs> definitely not I mean yes after a while you do but You know, if you want to fix them, it's pretty easy to do. So, anyway, that's what I've been doing this morning. But I need to get myself moving because I do, unfortunately, have to go out. Um, because I have a few things to get that I wasn't able to get yesterday. But I'm going to get a, a few extra things if I can, so that I don't have to go out. I want to try to make it so I don't have to go out for like two weeks. I want to just go do what I need to do and get back here and stay in because just, you know, <laughs> the state has officially shut down and they said this next two weeks is going to be the worst so I don't want to be out there and I don't want you guys to be out there if you don't have to be either so make some mask like I said I mean find a scarf um, you could even take a brand new sock you know or cut the ends off whatever anything you know hair ties 
Most of us women have hair ties. Uh, you could even use elastic beans if you really needed to, the thick ones, um, if you have those. Um, just shoestrings, you know, the rounded ones. Anything, you know, I mean, this, I just thought, why not? It's so easy, and I already had the stuff, except for I had to go out and buy a black and blue one, because I really didn't want to send them out wearing a pop pink. <laughs> you know, I've got all kinds of pink ones. I've got um, some light blue ones. I have green, light green, like mint green, yellow, purple. I mean, he probably would have, but... I was already out that day, so I, you know, why not? And, like, you know, it's just so easy to put on. Just loop it around your ear, just like you would a mask. And then just pull it up and pull it down. It's so easy. Done. I mean, and it doesn't hurt my ears, nothing. And it only took me minutes. So there's my video, Barbara. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. It's very windy here today. Very windy. I took my dog out. I got to actually get dressed and um, take her for another walk. Earlier this morning, I took her out. Nobody's really out. I live in the country, so I went out in my pajamas. <laughs> I don't care. You know, they're... Big, fuzzy, warm PJ pants and this robe. It's really thick and warm. And then I throw my sweater on and my boots on and I go out the door. You know, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Who's going to be watching me? I live in the country. <laughs> and if they were, I don't care. Hi! <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to do that video because Barbara asked me to. And why not, you know? Share it with all of you, too. Um... But please have a wonderful day and please continue to stay safe. Um, whew, piece of fuzz. But I love you guys. I appreciate you guys very much. Um, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I would love you to join my family. Still haven't thought a name for this family yet, but we will. Um... I'll be doing another giveaway really soon. Um, I gotta mail out jeans. It's probably not gonna get mailed until this afternoon, if not tomorrow morning, because I need to go get a box from the actual post office to pack it in, unfortunately. So that would mean another trip out, but that won't be nothing because I can just run to the post office and in out um it's just really scary with all this stuff going on but yeah i am going to say bye for now but much love to you all please hit the thumbs up and please comment tell me what you think of my mask Ugh. um if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and follow me on instagram my Instagram is Alice Lynn. I love being a Grammy, all one word. And I'll leave it down below as well. And I will put Barbara's channel down below too. So go check out her channel. She's such a sweetheart. She has become a really, really good friend of mine. And I appreciate her so much. I appreciate all of you. I have made some wonderful friendships on here. And I am so grateful to each and every one of you. And I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you leaving comments. And I love those thumbs up. Even the thumbs down. They don't bother me at all. <laughs> Not at all. So, much love to you all. Big hugs. Mm, I love hugs. I wish I could hug each and every one of you. So, remember, treat others as you want to be treated. And if you're out and about, smile. Make someone's day. You know, turn their day around. They might be having the worst day ever. 
and you could easily just say hi how are you uh, smile at them you know but make sure you keep your distance got to protect everyone ourselves and them so with that I am gonna sign out peace out guys <laughs>